but we've been given more free stuff. Look, a battery tester. Oh, it looks like I was going to cut it open, but I don't. I can pop it open. A battery tester. I haven't even opened it yet, as you can see, because I thought I needed to cut it open. Right, so this should test, in theory, the voltage and the power capacity of a battery. I'm hoping. I haven't read the instructions or anything. Right, and we are going to compare it against our... I can't believe how much... I found this in the workshop. I knew I bought it years ago, but I'd forgotten. We found one on Amazon. 430 quid for this. Right, so we know a battery's got voltage, 12 volts or 12.6 or 12.7 or whatever it happens to be. But how do you measure how much energy is stored in a battery? And if you think about it, it's really tricky because um, I remember as a kid, you used to go down the scrapyard and had this big thing with two prongs that they'd put on it, go and sparks would come out and they go, yeah, that's a good battery. But how just by looking at it and it's stationary, can you tell how good a battery is? So every battery you has or should have a capacity stored on it. So at the top here, we've got 80 amp hours, which means 80 amps will flow for an hour or one amp will flow for 80 hours, you get the meaning. So that's how much energy it can store. So that, that is what we're looking at here. So, but it's really hard to do. And when these came out, I remember thinking, these are brilliant. I don't know how it does it. So let's do a test this one first. So we're gonna test this one, demonstrate this, show how it works. And we're gonna do a GR and R study, a gauge reliability and repeatability study. So is it a random number generator? We'll test it two or three times and see if it gives us the same data. So here goes, bam. So, now cleverly, this doesn't have a battery inside. It uses the battery to power itself. It sort of ponces on the free power that's available, which is clever. So it comes up with this set to calibrate. We don't need to calibrate, this one's all good. So it's telling me I've got 12.6 volts. That's easy, any cheap multimeter can tell me that. So I've got to press to test. Right, and now it's testing the amp power capacity. So somehow, without any sparks flying, it's gonna work out, I don't know how it does it. So this has come up with the number of 70 amp hours. So it didn't take too long. Now, that's not too bad because I'm hoping for 80. Now I bought this, I write on it when I, I bought this battery in October 2020. So that's not too bad. That's probably about right, I'd guess that. Right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna power it down. We're going to power it up again and see, does it give us the same voltage and the same, okay. Now, one thing you'll notice is this battery is not connected to the car. I think ideally, you sh if you're testing your battery in your car, you should disconnect one of the terminals. Um, right, 12.57, that's close enough. Press the test. All right, here we go. So we're looking for 70 or thereabouts. If it's other, other than that, it's around, right, 70. Now it might give you 70 on every battery, who knows? I know it doesn't. Right, so that's that, right. So that's all well and good. Right, what have we got here then? So we've got a battery analyzer. It reckons it'll do six, 12 or 24. Now we'll start the video. We may have to stop it if I haven't got a clue what's going on, but we'll see if it just, we'll just put it on and see what happens. So we've got some little, little leads here. They're hench leads, aren't they? Yeah. Compared to those little tiddlers. All right then. Or if we can get the things off right, and here we go. So, right, one thing I will try is I'll try blowing it up in a minute. I'll try putting the positive on the negative. I did that at a car show once. Someone had a battery charger, and I said, is it versus polarity? They said, oh, I think so. I connected it, I swapped it over, and the thing started to catch fire. I walked off. Right, anyway, we digress. So what is it going? It's got a battery type. Oh, it, this, it's, it reckons it's selected. It was flashing there. It's 12, what do I go? Okay, do you reckon, can you see that flashing? Yeah. In fact, it looks clearer on your screen than it does in real life. Right, what's it doing? 500, right, I think this is where we better read the instructions, don't you? Mm -hmm. I think this 500 is the cranking current. So we've got 740 amps. Ah, yeah, CCA, which is probably, yeah, cranking current. So this is how much your battery can deliver when you turn your start motor and you're cranking the car. So let's go up to 740, shall we? Right, we don't have to do this on the other one, so I'm, I'm already not loving it. But if it saves you a load of money, why not? 740, there you go. Let's right, so reselect the cranking current. Okay, okay, right, so having a think about it, let's get the display right. Okay, now it's gonna come up with CCA, which is cranking current, so that's, 
651, which is pretty close to the 740 that we should have. All right now, let's go down again. Okay, so it's saying good. We've got the good tick. Now we can select up or down. So the next thing it's got is SOH, which it says is status of health. So it says it's 78%. Okay. And the next one, if we go down again, is SOC. So that says it's 98% charge, which looks about right for this one. Okay. And then down again, R, which is the internal resistance, is 3.98 mega ohms. I've got no idea what it should be, what's good on a battery or not. And then it's also got voltage, 13.3 volts, which is good. Um, so there we go, back to, right, now let's see if it gives us the same results a second time. So let's disconnect it, okay. So this is the repeatability study. So let's have a look again, right, let's power up. All right, it's powering up, 12 volts, okay. All right, let's zip it up to the 740 cranking current again. 740, okay. All right, and let's see, does it give a similar result this time? So it was, what, 651 last time. There goes. go, so it's spot on repeatable. Okay, 78% charge, 98%, 3.98, and 13.3. So it is repeatable. Right, now let's try this on a dead battery that I've got. Right, we found a dead battery. It says... It was end of life and tested in 2024 by Destiny. So let's power this up and see. See, it's kind of a spare. We keep it for all the bits and pieces. It will take it down the scrappy and get some money for it. All right, powering up. Set to calibrate. So we're looking at the voltage. So this Chinese tester doesn't give us the voltage. That's quite high, 12.82. So let's press the test. Test in the amp power. So they're slightly different, but I think they both correlate so 26 right so that's pretty low right now let's have a look what this battery should be does it tell us on its label in anywhere what the amp power rating should be what the cranking current should be has it lost its labels pb what have you got that sign nothing, on nothing so we've got no idea what it should be but it's a similar battery i'd expect it to be slightly better than this one when it was new right let's try our little 24 quid box of trickery shall we all right, let's get that on there. Right, well, he's woken up. He's, he's loving He's loving the 12.8 volts. Look, right, have you got that on the screen there? Yeah. All right, there we go. Okay, 12 volts. Right, we're going to have to guess this, aren't we? I'm going to go 800, just looking at the size of the battery. All right, I'm going to go 800. Yeah, it doesn't... Oh, it almost says it there. Yeah, it does say 950, look. That, you're right, because it says something... Uh, 12, um, 100 amp power, 950. There you go, well done. Oh, but I'll have RSI if I did all this. Don't. All right, you know, 9.50, oh, 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 don't. All right, here we go. Here it goes. So it's saying its cranky current is now nowhere near the 9.50 it should be. It's about 328, which is clearly reflects its poor state of charge. And let's have a look. So it says it's 15%. Um, and that was what they call their state of health. And then the state of charge is 98% charge, but it isn't that good, which is, I've actually had it on charge. So that makes some sense. Um, and look, the, the resistance is a lot higher on this one than the other one. 7.89 mega ohms. And the voltage is lower. It's 12.82. So that does seem to... To reflect it's a dead battery let me just take it off okay and put it on again and see if it gives us something similar to those readings again so 12 volts you know 950 so i'm just checking the repeatability five six seven eight gotta be getting good at this soon okay Yeah, 329, so that is pretty repeatable, look. Okay, system I have 12%, 98% charged, and 7.8. Yeah, those readings are all pretty, pretty repeatable. So it does seem to give a good set of results. Now, it still doesn't give amp hours, 
um, which is kind of frustrating because it's not. But if you just want to check how good it is, B, right, let's see what other tests we can do with it. Yeah. Oh, no, I've dropped it. Drop test. How robust is it for workshop use? Here we go. We love, the, we love these free product tests. Right then. Is it still alive? It's still alive. Let's have a look. I'm not willingly destroying it. I'm just doing a product test. All right, if this works, we're going to give it a thumbs up, aren't we? Yeah. Right. Just check he's still talking. He's still talking. 12 volts. Ooh, let's just rag him up quickly. Five, six. I'm getting, I'll be getting good at this. How close can I get? Nearly, right, and so let's see, and does it give the same reading? Can you remember what it was? I've got too many numbers in my head now. So, yeah, it was 333, three, three. look. Yeah. So there you go. Thumbs up for the 24 quid battery tester. Could be Andy.